Welcome back everyone. Today we have the final defensive map in the game with chapter 20. So let's take a look at it, eh? I'm not exactly sure where you're supposed to be in Leinster Castle, but whoever designed this place was clearly doing things right because you can block all access to the throne from several one tile wide paths that also allow your ranged attackers to help. Isn't that nice? So yeah, if you feel like it, this chapter can be cheesed easier than craft dinner, but where's the fun in that? Though, to be fair, there is a specific finish objective unlike Chapter 14. You need to survive 15 turns and Barat needs to be dead. Barat will stay put where he is until turn 15 by the way, so if you do turtle, you're going to have to crack at an ass load of shells to get him. And no, it's not cursing if referring to donkeys. This chapter also has destructible walls like Chapter 14. I've marked them thusly, and you can see greater detail on the Worlds of Dragons site. Needless to say, just like Chapter 14, once an enemy ends next to the destruct point, the walls instantly collapse. Now, onto the logistical side. There's a good amount of stuff to do in the meantime, so why not take a crack at it? The house in the top, despite being a typically brown, invisible type, actually can be visited for a silent staff. Oh, intelligence systems. Even when you help us, you're screwing with us. The lone chest near the middle has a knight's proof, and strangely enough, the five armors that look to be in some sort of prison in the top right are actually carrying kill edges, and they'll be set free by a bishop on turn 3 using an unlock staff. Yes, Tina's exclusive. Remember how I said that 776 doesn't care about your rules? The last thing I will make note of is the shop. There's one Fog of War chapter left in the game, and it's a pretty big doozy. This shop is your last chance to get torches, so if you have none, make sure to grab a few. Now, as for the reinforcements, holy crap, they're long and complex. I hope this doesn't come off as a cop-out, but I'd really recommend you just read the World of Dragons link in the description. It does a better job explaining it than I ever could, but I will go over a few vital waves. Turn 7 brings Ballista reinforcements, yes, really, to these squares, and it gets worse on turn 10 when two Iron Ballista show up to help them. The other really nasty waves are the mages on these squares from turn 12 to 15. They all move, and they all have Meteor Tones. I hope your units have high magic or dodge. And conversely, you can stop a lot of armor reinforcements from 12 to 15 if you kill Barat early. The Meteor Mages will still come, however, so judge this for yourself. And that's all for the map layout. On to some tactics. Also, I gotta bring this up now. The music for this chapter is the best track in the game. It really brings the mood of the situation to mind, and I really wish a later game brings us a remix of it. Anyway, I hope the deployment didn't put useless units in defensive positions. Regardless of such, if you're committed to ending this as soon as you can, I'd make two pools of the left and right doors just inwards of the outer walls to give just a few avenues of attack for the enemy, but enough so you can maneuver and dispatch them easily. Killing Brat early may be a fun challenge if you want something to do in the defensing. Threatening reinforcements only truly show up until turn 7, so it can be done. The only real obstacles are your placement and the Master Lance Generals flanking him. By the way, Barat is also holding the final Crusader scroll in the game, the Tordo scroll. But he has 20 build, so if you want it, you're going to have to steal it. Said scroll, by the way, gives plus 5% growth to HP, strength, magic, and luck, and a plus 10% growth to speed. Wow, that's that's pretty lame, innit? I honestly expected a lot more from the scroll representing the primary enemy force in the game. What a bummer. And that's it, basically. Chapter 20 is just one of those maps that's complicated but very simple to play. So happy strategizing, and I'll see you later with Chapter 21, which has, guess what, tons of ballista! Thanks for watching, this has been Model Omega, and have a great day.